And new at 10, two Colorado women have made it their mission to bring free dental care to poor countries. They travel the world helping children who rarely have access to a dentist. Well, when their nonprofit started, they helped about 500 kids a year. Now, 18 years later, make that 25,000. CBS Force Karen Morph had learned all about their success today. And Karen, they couldn't do it without the volunteers. Jim, and volunteers can be anyone. That can be a dentist who wants to share his or her expertise in the field to a 16-year-old who simply wants to share their time. You don't have to have experience in dentistry to help this cause. So we're getting ready to pack for our next clinics. When Global Dental Relief got started nearly 20 years ago, there was a lot to learn. The very first project we did was at 14,000 feet along the Everest Trail. Um, we loaded up all of our equipment on the back of yaks. Um, we knew nothing about dentistry. What Kim Trogio and friend Lori Matthews did know was there was a need, especially for children. They have an infection in their mouth that starts small, but over time it grows. and. These kids just live with chronic pain and infection. With the right people, they also knew it was a need they could meet. Each one of our projects is comprised of five or so dentists and two hygienists. And then we take 10 what we call non-dental volunteers. That's one of our dentists. For spring break, 16-year-old Will Katowski and his dad, Tim, volunteered their time in Guatemala. My dad and I, we are not dentists. From applying fluoride and handing out toothbrushes to assisting dentists as they work, they had a hand in everything. So I was a chair assistant. Assistant. I have no dental background other than being in a dental chair a lot. Once you leave, you're leaving an impact with these kids by being able to provide dental care, which I think is worth more than any vacation could ever offer. Trogio says it's those volunteers with no experience but a strong desire to help that make their mission a success. Volunteers just have to come with a heart to work. Now, if you're interested in volunteering, you can find an application as well as more information on cost and that next project on their website. We have a link online at cbsdenver.com. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.